So Mr. Beast is testing the waters with different social media platforms and uh, seeing how much money and revenue they can make because obviously his videos cost an absolute arm and a leg to produce and putting them on platforms that won't generate anything, not really worth his time, considering he is destroying it on YouTube, absolutely killing it, like billions of views a month. He's making tons of money. I think he's like break even, I think he said in his videos on YouTube, which is crazy to even think like, that he's spending that much on YouTube videos, but here we are. And he decided that he was going to post a video on Twitter to test things out. This is what he ended up posting, you know, his $1 car versus $100 million car, a video he already made. It's not like it was made exclusively for Twitter, uh, which I think would be an interesting strategy because I don't think Mr. Beast would do like uh, video, just re-upload videos, right? Not upload YouTube and Twitter, the same exact videos. That doesn't seem like what he would want to do. He does the different things with YouTube shorts and TikTok and stuff where it's all original content. It's not just clipped up things of his already like YouTube videos. So if he was to do this, I wouldn't expect him to make or just like repost videos. Like I would expect him to make original videos if he was going to branch out into this. But he did this to say or see how much ad revenue he would make on Twitter because that was the big discussion a while ago. It was talked about that Mr. B should put his videos here. He said, it's not really worth my time. You don't make any money here. And then he decided to give it a try. And the amount of money he made was uh, absolutely insane. But there might be some caveats, which uh, this is his uh, next tweet to the poll here. We can see what people thought was going to happen. I put 10,000. I thought that that was pretty reasonable because I didn't think that you know Twitter was going to pay pretty much anything from what i've heard from other people but uh you can see it was kind of all over the place pretty evenly spread besides the million dollar one uh which ended up being probably closest maybe the 100k is closest but it, it was pretty evenly spread the 10,000 one was the one winning which i think for anyone who is not named mr beast on this campaign to see what happens would have been a reasonable thing for like the 160 million views the video got it probably be more reasonable that anyone else who's not named Mr. Beast probably makes around the 10k figure for that. Maybe, maybe even less, because I've seen people replying saying that they make way less with similar views. So, but also I don't know if views for a video is different than views or impressions on a tweet and stuff. Who knows, right? But at the end of the day, Mr. Beast here made over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars on his first uh, Twitter video saying it's a bit of a facade. Advertisers saw the attention it was getting and bought ads on my video, I think, and thus my revenue per view is probably higher than what you'd expect. And that is the conclusion I think a lot of people came to. I can say I saw Mr. Beast's tweet of his video like 15 times when I would go on scroll on Twitter. It was being pushed everywhere it felt like. And the ads, there were being ads played on like Shopify ads of Mr. Beast on his video, which is kind of weird to see like, you see a Mr. Beast ad on a Mr. Beast video. It's kind of crazy, but it does seem like this uh, was seen that was going to get a lot of attention and advertisers wanted to put ads on this video simply because it was going to get eyes. So probably a little inflated for what it would typically be, but still insane, right? $250,000. If it was on YouTube with the same views, uh, he would make a lot more money. I mean, if we look at his YouTube channel, 100 million views for him is a normal video, right? 100 million to 200 million is a normal video, which is crazy. But uh, if we look, if we break down the math too, because I wanted to see what was the RPM or CPM that he was getting on Twitter. And it's actually pretty low, but it's also January. So it's tough to say whether or not it's just low on Twitter or low because it's January. But if we take his, uh, some, do a little bit of math here, nothing crazy. We'll round the views up. We have all the stats right here. 157 million views. We're going to say impressions, whatever. And then the $263,000 it made. If you take the 157 million views that we're going to round up, divide by a thousand to get RPM, CPM numbers. You have 157,000. Take what it, he made here, divide it by the 157,000. So he was getting an ad rate of about a dollar and 68 cents per uh, for an RPM for what he got paid. So that's really low compared to YouTube, where I'm sure he's getting probably four dollars plus RPMs. 
Uh, Mr. is like a golden poster child of YouTube, so it wouldn't surprise me if he was getting even better ad rates than that, and like just getting insane ad rates. It wouldn't be shocking at all. Uh, but comparing this to YouTube for him and saying that this number is probably extremely hyped, right? There was probably tons of competition to come put ads on this video because everyone knew it was going to get views and still $1.68 is what came out of it. Uh, if this is normal things on Twitter, I don't know. I've seen people replying to this saying that they have like a billion impressions and they get $800 or a hundred million impressions. They get $800. So I don't know if Twitter is going to weigh views on a video uh, more than views on tweets. It seems like that probably happened, but still this rate, it's still not good, right? Especially compared to Mr. Beach. Go to his, uh, his um, social blade here. These earnings are 25 cents to $4. I would be shocked if Mr. Beast is only getting the $4 RPMs. Uh, even if he's just getting $4, $10 million a month, right, for his 2.5 billion views. Insane. But $4, obviously, drastically more than $1.68. So even tr triple, like double, triple the amount. So you can see Twitter probably still has a way to go. But it, maybe it's growing. Maybe it's becoming something. You know, it's, it's just super hard to tell with this. Maybe Mr. B sticks with this and starts putting videos on Twitter. I'd imagine he'd do original content videos on there. And as the hype kind of dies down, he'll still get millions, probably hundreds of millions of views for videos on there. But he will ultimately have the hype die down. I was thinking that RPM will come down and it's already low compared to YouTube. And in true Mr. Beast fashion, what is he going to do with the money he made from this video? He's going to give it away to 10 random people reposting this $25,000 each. So, you know, had to repost and like it. You'll see, you know, 3.7 million reposts and 2 million likes. Low chances, but there is a chance, right? There is a chance that you can get $25,000 from Mr. Beast. But at the end of the day, Twitter still, I think for anyone not named Mr. Beast, I don't think you're making crazy money, especially because most people aren't making super produced videos and uploading them to Twitter and doing all that stuff. They're mainly tweeting and making memes and getting hundreds of millions of impressions doing that. And those probably pay exponentially less. So even you get Mr. Beast got 160 million views on his video that paid him quarter of a million dollars. Still not a great RPM. But if you did the exact same impressions, but on just tweets and written stuff, I'd imagine that RPM drops significantly and you don't make anywhere near the same amount of money. But I guess we'll see. I want to see uh, Twitter succeed. I want to see it succeed and make competition for YouTube because competition only makes everything better, right? If YouTube has a monopoly on all this stuff and content creation where you can make money, then it's just going to slowly just turn into something getting worse and worse or stagnate. And if Twitter can come in and make a, diff a different place where people can actually go and make money as well, then YouTube will have to step up their game and both of them will get better. And ultimately we win as both platforms continue to get better and better to compete against each other. That's gonna do it for this video. As always, don't forget to smash like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.